Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you had a good day, good week in the market. It's Friday, March 10th. BBY is ripping right now. We're gonna look at a little technical analysis, some SPY, uh, SVB bank collapse. What's gonna happen next week? We're in the beginning of a market crash, potentially. Sub up, like up, comment down. Happy money sticks around. Follow us on Twitter at happymoneyyt, as well as our Discord server. Link for both of those are in the description. Okay, so SVB has officially collapsed. I don't even know bankrupt. Whatever, they're closed. <laughs> so if you have money in there, you're either going to get FDIC to pay you out or, uh, yeah, they're going to make some arrangements. I don't know. FDIC pays up $250,000. Um, the contagion is spread, though, at least to other banks and their tickers for today. We don't know if other banks are actually going to have an effect from it. It seems like they possibly could, very likely, in my opinion. Uh, it's kind of started with SI, Silvergate, kind of eased back and didn't necessarily collapse yet, but yeah. And now we're looking at SVB and it's halted and down many, many, many percentages. So they're closed down. Uh, this could be the beginning of, of the crash that's been seemingly long overdue, but you need a catalyst and this could be it. So Josh, just subscribe. Thanks for subscribing, Josh. Um, yeah, I had a crazy stream today. Thanks so much, Ace Ventura. He just killed it with memberships, gifting memberships. If you guys haven't jumped on our stream, hit the notification bell. We stream every day, all day, right on here, right on this channel. Uh, Spy, though, <clears throat> start with this inverted hammer. We had Bostic pumping the market. Inverted hammer showed the direction was over. Uh, Powell had a very hawkish speech, or statement, rather. And then he testified, and then... This was kind of the start of the bank drop, I would say. The SVB stuff going on yesterday, which made this big engulfing candle. And now we're here with another large, large down day. So uh, I profited some on it, not as much as, of course, you look back like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Um, did pretty well yesterday. Didn't do as well today, but uh, yeah. Mostly just trading futures, short the futures, uh, shorting bounces more or less. So I'll, I'll show you those trades. Shortly, uh, next level's down, like, as we start to come down fast, you're gonna get fast rips up also with, you know, closing shorts and people buying dips. Um, it's just hard to know when that happens, but uh, yeah, I, I, this, down, down Friday is usually down Monday. So whether we open up flat, open up up half a percent or a quarter or open down two or three or four or 5%, you know, some crazy sell off over the weekend. I'm not sure, I'm gonna have exposure though for that potential downside because I think I don't think this is over um the next kind of support is maybe the top of this range we were trading in before the end of the year uh, I have it like 383 36 somewhere around there didn't quite hit it today after that uh just the bottom of that range 377 ish and then <clears throat> excuse me and then after that we're looking I mean like the more major levels I'd say is 367 and then kind of this low over here, 360. Then of course, uh, the low from last year, which I think we are gonna end up breaking. Uh, could could come fast. So far, we haven't really had any gaps. It's just been intraday trading down. So once you start adding some gaps in here with some big days, then you have huge moves in a short amount of time. Um, similar to here, like you had a pretty big move down, but then a gap, move down, gap. So once you start adding gaps in with big intraday moves, then you start to have big percentages so we'll see um but yeah i'm i'm bearish on it at this point banks are saying it's not not contagion it's 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 all isolated and it's idiosyncratic and it's not syst systemic uh but uh, you really don't know there's already been kind of bank runs i think going on definitely with svb and potentially other banks so pretty sketchy and this happening on a friday there's going to be a lot of thought, I think, over the weekend. Anyways, PPI up by oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, okay, well, GME continues to come down. I'm um, kind of still calling for that. This double bottom down here, 15 and a half, 16 ish range. We hit 16 today. And then earnings they announced is 321, so January 21. It's also on a Tuesday after OPEX, OPEX in the SLD period. So literally the day that Jimmy historically runs the most from T plus two, from being the SLD and from the OPEX 
that's when their earnings are. So could see big fireworks on GME on Tuesday of that earnings. Coming into that earnings, I think we're probably just going to sell off. Um, but then after that earnings, we might have a huge massive rip. And it might even be lining up with a stock market crash. So crazy to think about how this stuff is all lining up. Holy crap, BUI is moving up 8% now. Um, yeah, this thing. Oof. So I've got covered calls on it, which I've been having to do, but um, yeah, I will be closing them. My, oh, we're getting another, another engulfing candle here. Oh, wow. Okay, up 10%. So yeah, today looked interesting, very interesting on BBBY. It totally changed its demeanor even before all this. Um, for starters, this morning it, it dropped, which is somewhat normal, but then it, it bounced and I was noticing it's moving with the spy. Very unusual. Uh, moving right with the spy. Crap, I even want to see if I can close some of these covered calls right now. Probably probably not going to be a good trade. Yeah, I'll just leave them for now. Yep, I'll leave them for now. Man, my fidelity, my margin shares. My margin's so happy right now. It's like, oh, breath of air. Um, anyways. Yeah, the move up to a dollar and a half could be pretty quick. We could even be there today. Jeez. Anyways, um, yeah, so it was interesting today. It was coming down and it was actually moving with the SPY, which is the first time I've seen it in the last few weeks. I've been watching BBBY closely. Uh, where, where are we on here? Here. This is today, yeah. So it was moving right with the SPY, which is very odd. Usually it's been doing its own thing and then barcoding. So move with the SPY on the drop and then the bounce. Did the exact same thing and then right about here it shut off and turned into the barcode algo and see how the spy then um the time frame on here is different look spy rallied up here and, and bby didn't that turned back off spy is rallying by wasn't and then spy had its own rally right about here is that at the same time no it was totally different timing that's here so it was going on and off of like trading on a spy algo or like overall market algo and this barcode penny stock algo um that started at 12 15. yeah yeah very interesting and then it went back to barcoding and then yeah now it's just doing its own crazy skyrocket move uh, but yes this is the first time i've seen it where it's not been doing this barcode algo penny stock thing and it's actually traded with the spy which was a good sign that something different was happening. Um, the volume was picking up some, we had a couple volume spikes in there. Now with this huge volume spike in the end of the day, we're gonna have big volume by end of day, or bigger at least, which is good, increasing volume. Um, if we end today with another engulfing candle, again, we had one back here, had a little bounce from it, and then it came down further. This one might actually be the bottom though. Um, we'll have a bullish MACD most likely. And we're gonna probably have an RSI divergence. We'll have to wait till next week to see if that's actually uh, plays out. But basically this RSI is higher than this one. And this price is lower than this one. So decreasing price, increasing RSI lows. And Bob's your uncle, you're on your way up. So it's looking good for it. Uh, even without this move here, because if you're, if you're on stream today, I was telling you like, today's looking good. If literally I was signing off and I'm like, if I had more cash or wanted to put more into it, I would be putting it in today. Um, so not to say it can't go lower, but these are signs that I want to see. It moving with SPY, uh, it making this this hammer candle, which it was a hammer before, and it was red. It was red and it was a hammer, and I'm like, this even looks good. It was down here, but now it's now it's way better. Now it's an engulfing green candle, so it was all looking good, and it was increasing on volume, and the MACD was flipping bullish. So uh, yeah, pretty pretty hyped on this end of day move so far. Um, yeah, so. I'm just playing it with shares mostly. We'll go over the go over the trades here. Spy's getting weak. I do have one short. I wanted to get into more though. Four end of day. Crap. All right, I'll show you guys the trades we did today. Um, oh, one of my birds contracts filled. Birds had good earnings, so they rallied up. Uh, here's some covered calls. I closed out the ones that expired today. Opened up ones for next week. I didn't know we we're gonna have this huge rip in a day, or yeah, I would have waited. And that's what I got for those options. Tesla bearish play is still up. Rivian bearish play is still up, of course. My Jimmy puts up pretty good. So I'll close these next week. Probably pretty red next week on the market. And BY might just keep inversing, which is one reason I love this thing. 
Uh, on the futures, what did we do? So, yeah, again, I didn't trade it quite like I liked, um, but yeah, basically I'm going to end up with hopefully just, just some shorts on the, on the MES. Uh, I did buy, buy another NAC gas contract today. I'm down quite a bit on it now. Uh, a thousand bucks on that thing, but NAC gas is at a nice level. And if it can hold around this area, it's got a nice inverted head and shoulders here. You can see on the hourly, on the four hour and on the daily, it's all there. Um, so we'll see. I, I would buy more, but I'm going to kind of wait for more confirmation of the reversal and support being built and, and then uh, then I'll be good. But yeah, I have six contracts this so far, so that's much better than because at this rally, I think I had like four. But we'll see. My only concern is demand destruction, recession. Uh, less energy demands, less natural gas is being used, but it is already such a low price. I feel like that won't even, it still, it still could go up from here even with less energy demand. Oh, what a crazy day. What a crazy week in the market. Um, yeah. Thanks guys for watching. Thank you guys for all your support. I'm so grateful for it. Um, yeah. We'll, we'll see you on, see you on Discord. See you on Twitter. Okay. Have a good weekend. Peace out.